Hey what's up guys Mortarman here and today I'm going to show you how to use a video converter to make your YouTube videos a lot smaller so that you can upload them on YouTube much faster. If you aren't aware of what a video converter is well uh, you're, you're in for a big treat. Um, a long time ago I didn't know about a video converter back when I was using Windows Movie Maker and I would make a video and the and the the file the file would be really big. It would be like well for me with my slow internet and my lack of uh experience on YouTube, you know, my the files would be like seven or eight hundred megabytes and to me I thought that was like a huge file. Nowadays, you know, six or seven hundred megabyte file is really not that big to me, but the smaller the better. And so if you're using an editing software that commonly renders out a video that's really big, you know, the file is really big, or if maybe you're doing let's plays or walkthroughs or something and, you know, your video is 30 minutes to an hour long, or maybe you're doing a podcast and the podcast is two hours long. When you're finished, your video is going to be like, you know, one, two, maybe three gigabytes or even larger when you're finished then if you've got a laptop like I have with a i3 processor it doesn't handle video files that are you know several gigabytes in size very well it like f totally freaks out when I try to you know put a put a video in my in my editing software that's you know over a gigabyte it just completely freaks out and it you know it's like running at a hundred percent and so a video converter makes my life a lot easier and I believe it will make your life a lot easier too. So um, so let's get started. This is, if you're looking at the screen now, this is what the Freemake video converter looks like. It is a freeware software from freemake.com. I'm going to show you the website now. Here we go. Alright, this is what the website looks like. Well, this is not the the home page, but I, what I've done is I I went to freemake.com and I clicked on downloads, so I could show you a list of all the uh, different uh, softwares that they have to offer. The Freemake Video Converter is the one we're talking about today in this video. And you've got the Freemake YouTube MP3 Converter, Video Downloader, Audio Converter, and Freemake Music Box. I have them all downloaded to my computer, however, I haven't tried Music Box. I really don't know what that one is, but I've got it on my computer anyway. I figured one of these days I'll check it out. Um, I have used the MP3 converter, and, and um, I use the video downloader all the time. Anytime I need to get a video off, of, uh, off the internet onto my PC, I use the Freemake video downloader. It's great. Um, and if the file is really big, well then I'll use this to convert it. If somebody sends me a video, um, I'll use Freemake Video Converter to shrink it down to size. And you're probably asking, well, you know, does this video converter mess with the uh, quality of my video? No, it will not. It will only shrink the video down to a manageable size without, um, without messing with the quality of the video. If you got a one gigabyte file and it and and the video converter says that it can um, manage it down to you know three or four hundred megabytes then that's as good as it's going to get for you. There's You can't uh, keep converting and reconverting and reconverting it's not going to do any good it's not going to change the size of the file and if you do that you probably are going to mess with the quality of the video. But if you just convert it the one time, take what Freemake gives you in the results, and you'll be fine. It's not uncommon to use this software um, to use to convert a two and a half gigabyte file down to below 500 megabytes. Not a problem. I do that all day long. Um, so anyway, here's the website, Freemake.com. Let's go back to the video converter. Now I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to grab a file. I've got a few saved game clips in my computer that I haven't used. Um, this one's 647 megabytes, not a real big file, 
the video is 11 minutes and 27, 26 seconds long. I just drag and drop it into video converter. Now, I like MP4. MP4 is uh, probably the most common um, that I use, you know, on YouTube. Let's see, where is there's MP4 right there at the bottom. I'm just going to click on that, and it will give me the information about the file. I rendered it in 720, so here it is. It's going to be converted into 720. You can, uh, I could convert it to other qualities here, but I usually just use 720. Um, 720 is good enough for me. I could do 1080p. You know, there are some videos that I render in 1080p, but 720 is just more manageable for me, so I use 720. Um, but here is, you know, it's showing you where the video is going to be saved in my computer. It's telling you what codec it is, H.264, um, and the size is 1280 by 720, obviously. Um, there's some other options here, tools, edit preset. I don't mess with any of this stuff. Um, and then at the bottom it says one pass encoding, high speed. And it's going to, looks like it's going to do it at 269 megabytes. So it started out at 647, I believe. And uh, let's see, 647 megabytes, and it's going to chop it down to 269, and it's not going to affect the quality. So right there, I'm already saving half as much upload time on YouTube right there. It's going to take me... 10 minutes or so to convert this. Let's go ahead and click convert. I'm not going to convert the video right now because I don't need to convert it. I'm not going to be editing or uploading this video anytime soon. Um, but here it gives you a timeline and the percentage of the progress and everything. Uh, and it's 3%. And the good thing also about this software is that you can load multiple videos into the program and convert them all at once. Um, if you're if you're uh, if you've got a fast CPU, your computer will handle it. Um, it'll convert as many videos as you can feed in there. My CPU is only an i3, so it's not great, and you know my computer gets to 100% capacity pretty quickly. But I can still um, I can still load five or six videos in here without a problem and convert them it just takes a long time my computer's a little slower but if your computer's fast you can do this no problem I'm gonna cancel this and exit out of there because I'm not converting that video but anyway guys it's a short video I just wanted to share this with you real quick I know that if you're not familiar with how to convert your video you're really missing out on saving yourself a lot of time so I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions about video conversion, please leave them in the comments below the video. This is Joe with the Next Gamer Network and Mortarman TV. As always, I want to thank you for watching the video, and we'll see you next time, guys. Have a great day.